With subsurface analysts, you can create 3D models of the subsurface features, including fence diagrams and volumes that can be visualized in ArcScene. In this demo, we will use data created as part of the development of a 3D groundwater simulation model. This map shows an overview of the model area in the Sacramento Valley, California. As we use ArcScene to view features in 3D, we can see that a set of rasters have been created to define the type of hydrogeologic units within the model domain. The process of creating the rasters will be shown in a separate demo. The rasters were loaded into a raster catalog named GeoRasters, so they can be indexed. Notice the Horizon ID index assigned to each of the rasters. We will use the Horizons method to fill in between the rasters and create 3D fence diagrams and volumes. The subsurface analyst tools require the Horizon ID index to be able to construct the 3D features in an intelligent manner. Horizons are assigned from the bottom up such that the lowest horizon is the base of the model and the largest horizon is the top surface. Also, notice the clip and fill attributes. The values in these fields give us control over which surfaces are included in the construction of the 3D model and also provide options for clipping based on selected surfaces. First, let's create a set of geosection features that represent 3D fence diagrams. You can see that a set of section lines have already been defined across the model domain and these will be the base for creating the 3D geosections. We will use the Raster Studio Sections tool available in the Subsurface Analyst tool set. Once we run the tool, a new set of 3D geosections will be added to our scene. The geosections are based on multi-patch features which allow the display of 3D objects within our scene. Next, we will create a set of volumes by filling between the surfaces. But before we start, we will create a projection tin that will be used as the base for constructing the 3D volume objects. We use the Polygon to Tin tool to create the projection tin. In this example, we will use a value of 4000 feet for the tin spacing. You can modify the tin spacing to meet your needs. The smaller the spacing, you will get a denser tin and the volume objects will be more detailed. The processing time will be longer for more detailed tins. You can see the new tin created. We will use the Rasters to Geo Volumes tool available in Subsurface Analyst. Once we run the tool, we are able to see the 3D subsurface model. Again, each one of these 3D geometries is a real feature stored, queried, and managed within the GeoDatabase as a multi-patch feature. You can use a filter available in the ArcHydro Groundwater Toolbar 
to quickly filter for different units of interest. Subsurface Analyst also includes the HGU Color Manager for controlling the symbology on multiple layers so it is easy to change the colors of layers in your model. Notice how we can change the colors for different units within our model. In this example, we changed the colors for units 3 and 5 and applied the new symbology. You can see that the due sections and due volumes are updated accordingly.